Hello everyone, Loremaster of Sotek here, and we've got more Chaos Dwarf goodness here for you today. Um, super excited to dive into this, the only thing I really know about it is that it, this is some, uh, it's a 22 minute video to show off the kind of initial features of the Forge of the Chaos Dwarfs, and I believe it is from the perspective of a Astrogoth Iron Hand campaign. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. Good lord, my ears. Alright, so we're going full cinematic with this. Man, look at those hats. They're just absolutely glorious. Oh. <laughs> what? We got a first person perspective? Maybe that is why the price has gone up so much. Oh. Dude, that black orc is so mad. <laughs> Just can't get that attack in. Oh, there he is! There he is! Bro, you better get up for the boss. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the boss is... Uh, Astra. boss is not happy. No, he's not a space-faring metalhead. He's a mecha-wearing, magic-wielding, limb-petrified high priest of Hushut, and he's on a mission to prove his best sorcery. He looks fantastic. Him. Chaos. He Dwarf. looks so what a good. Pair of words. You'll be pleased to know our angry little chaos friends have a nice variety of ranged, melee, cavalry, and artillery units, oh, as well as enough cannon. Oh man, the units are great. The units Orphan look Goblin absolutely fantastic. For an inexpensive front line that can be used to distract your enemy's army and control the flow of the battlefield. Man, those we'll use them in our approach to so Okay, I'm going to be stopping and stop starting and stopping a lot. So if you want to run watch this uninterrupted, um go do that and then come back if you want. Um so the thing that immediately catches my attention is how much health these units have. Oh, look at that. So the orc laborers have armor piercing damage. Uh, I'm like, their stats are pretty terrible, but they do have armor piercing, I guess because they're wielding great weapons. Um, but, like, ton of health. So you got 9,000 health on the goblins and over 10,000 health on the orc laborers. So, pretty decent. To distract your enemy's army and control the flow of the battlefield. We'll use them in our approach to soak up arrows and conceal the units we actually care about. Meanwhile, Astrogoth and our centaur boys are going to loop around the back and harass their archers. Oh, is that a bull centaur render? Yes, yep, it you is. Heard that right. Astrogoth's legs are as swift as Whoa! they are. Whoa! Look at that boy go. So he's... Wow, he is super fast. The bulk of the orcs, and the result is a similar consistency to mushy peas. Get the blunderbuss. All that's left now is for Iron Hand to do his thing. Oh... Man, he looks really good in combat. <laughs> oh, he's got a flamethrower. Of course he does. If if you're gonna have a mecha suit, you know it has to have a flamethrower. That's just that's just part of the course. Bulls. Oh, look, those renders have axe and shield. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that lord got deleted. Despite putting some green skins in their place, Astrogoth is a far cry from his former glory. A fact he'll need to overcome as he consolidates the orc-infested province of Zorn as full to reclaim his rightful place in the Tower of Zard. Oh, awesome. Okay, so he starts... But proving he's the one true leader of the Conclave... He starts in Uskalak then? Got... Yeah, he starts in Uskalak. into the domain of okay. the itself. And, once breached, the Chaos Dwarfs can reap the most potent... So, that's interesting. So, I'm guessing... I, I guess that means that none of the Chaos Dwarfs start in Zarnag. Because if anybody was going to start in Zarnagrand, it would be Astrogoth. So if Astrogoth is not starting in Zarnagrand, I assume that means no one is starting in Zarnagrand. Which which does make sense. Like it is it is like the racial capital that has a significant amount of like political scheming, um, and characters always vying for control. And the Tower of Zar mechanic, I guess, wouldn't really make that much sense if you already controlled Zarnagran. Like, why would you need to use political scheming to take over, um, you know, the main Tower of Zar 
if you already control it. So by having Astrogoth out, like Uzkalak is still a really appropriate place for him because it is the it is the founding hold of the Chaos Dwarfs. Like the Chaos Dwarfs originate from Uzkalak. They uh they would they would leave Zorn Uzkul or the Great Skull Plain um later to create Zarnagrand. But uh, Uzkalak is where they discovered Hashut, and it's also like their founding place. So it, I think that's a very appropriate place for him. The blood that the also helps him and Drazwath, if Drazwath is in the Black Fortress, very, have like very big drill. substantially more space. Whoa! Big boy drill! We'll return to the Great Drill of Hashut in a little bit, but for now... What Okay, so it offers... Wow, that offers actually a lot of great funds. Uh, 500 gold... What? Okay, wow. I'm looking at a lot here. So this allows you to recruit Chaos Dwarf Warriors with shields or great weapons. Art looks cool for the units. Um, progresses the narrative. Gives you 10 armaments per turn, 100 raw materials per turn when workload requirements are met. However, it requires additional 100 workload that you need labor to fulfill, and it also generates 500 gold. Okay. We'll return to the Great Drill of Hashat in a little bit, but for now... Oh, look at that! Raw materials are used to upgrade your buildings? So, okay. I really like the cinematic footage for the fights. And we're on the offensive. Thankfully, the lore of Hashat with its many fiery so, uh, comes in clutch. Oh, Burning nice. Rash is our bread and butter Ooh, and big old meteor spell. Oh, wow, look at that. It does a vortex when it lands. That's, that's a really cool, that's a very interesting new spell type. So it's a magic missile, but when it hits the ground, it turns into like a uh, mini so vortex. Spoils. Another hard huh. one piece of the puzzle. That's cool. Unlike every other faction in the world, Chaos Dwarfs know the value nice art. of hard work, the worth of a sweaty brow and calloused palms. That's why Chaos Dwarfs don't build any old settlements, no, no. They build <laughs> outposts, factories, and towers, all tools of the unrelenting machine of industry. Outposts are needed to mine raw materials. Factories turn those raw materials whoa, into iron whoa, and gold, whoa. and towers are our sprawling province capitals. But what do we... Okay, hold up. Hold up. What? Factories and towers, all... Ah, uh, to the victor go the spoils. Another hard won piece of the puzzle. Unlike every other faction in the world, Chaos <gasps> Oh, look at that! So they can make different settlement types. Oh, look, and you got like little symbols here to show it. Okay, so he's saying if you make. So minor settlements can be factories or outposts, and then major settlements can be the value of towers the worth of a sweaty brow and calloused palms that's why chaos wolves don't build any i like their mining so picks no, they build outposts factories and towers all tools of the unrelenting that is so cool so they outposts have different settlement types materials. factories turn those raw materials into ornaments and gold oh uh, hold up i'm so so sorry i'm stopping there's a lot of information being thrown around here so an outpost oh, outpost one influence per turn, 50 income, chaos. Okay, so they do have chaos, undivided corruption. Has a pretty sizable garrison, though it's mostly uh, hobgoblins and laborers. Unlets you unlock recruitment of laborers. Okay, and what does he say? Raw materials, factories turn those. Okay, so he says that uh, outposts give you raw materials, and then the workshop. Uh, oh, the workshop has, uh, the workshop adds defenses to the settlement. Battles fought here will be unwalled settlement battles. Oh, cool. So factories count as, uh, settlements, but without walls. I'm presume, I, I wonder if you can, up I assume you could upgrade them to eventually have walls. That's very cool. Um, that they already have that ready to go. So that makes them like stand out even more. And they have a slightly better... Oh, no, they have a way better garrison. It's got three units of Chaos Dwarfs instead of only one. Um, but it still has it's Hobgoblins and Laborers. And, gold, and, towers are our and then Towers are your major settlements. Where... Okay, so we already have it confirmed here that Chaos Dwarfs get... 
can unlock tech to improve their buildings. Very cool. All right, awesome. Was are our sprawling province capitals. But what do we build? Well, there's a lot of factors to take into consideration. And before we get there, let's rewind a little bit and take a deeper look at our economy. That's right, hold on to your seatbelt. I said economy. Chaos Dwarfs are industrious little fellas, and that's reflected in the way we'll manage our budding empire's resources. All right. Behold, our new major currencies. Treasury, raw materials, armaments, and labor. And then there's conclave influence, but we'll come back to that later. Treasury needs no explanation. It's shiny, it's heavy, we love it. Raw materials does what it says on the tin. Needed for certain buildings and technology. Raw materials. For the chaos source, the fruits of the earth are raw materials that need for their armaments, factories, and other industrial projects. It must be acquired by mining. Metal, stone, and coal are all needed for the Chaos Dwarf War Machine. Raw materials are generated from Outpost Settlement's mines. They can be used to construct various buildings and can be converted into armaments or treasury income within a factory settlement's buildings. You can gain them through battles, building construction refunds, convoy, mined raw materials, missions, raised settlements, or the Tower of Czar. And you lose them through building construction consumed i guess for other stuff and can be converted into armaments or gold in specific factory buildings our primary source of raw materials is from outpost strip mines but we can also trade with it using military convoys which are oh. five armaments primarily gained through factory assembly lines armaments are used in the construction of advanced military buildings and some technologies as with raw materials wow. we can okay. trade armaments on military convoy expeditions for other goods Expeditions? Labor, because all those tasty, tasty minerals aren't going to mine themselves. Labor. Labor directly affects the output of our raw materials. More strip mines requires more labor, and a dwindling workforce produces fewer raw materials. So keeping your control Whoa. is Wow, look at that. So they're losing, you're losing 30 laborers per turn to generate your uh, raw materials, but you need at least 100 laborers per turn to maintain 100% output. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, so this actually has a little bit of, like, this has some meat to it. Various actions with our labor force, increasing our gold stores or our con... Uh, labor costs 200, but gives you 10 control in that province. Slave influence. Or we can move labor around us. Generate... Oh, wow. Generate 1,000 gold every time this is activated. Um... Cost 200 laborers and it lasts for one turn. However, you cannot perform other labor actions while this is Sprawling active. Empire to bolster provinces that might need the extra manpower. You may have That's a super cool. Gained from winning battles and are usually <laughs> that transition so, of turning build? a warlord We've into a laborer. Important and its effectiveness is directly linked to a province's control. We need labor to mine raw materials and those raw materials to produce armaments and other goods. I this is super cool. With me, that's fine. But I, envision a chaos I really, really like the Here, like own, levels of transition of to that. Endeavors, free outposts and keeping all those. Ah, I really like the chaos source settlements. Terrible tower. Ah, he's so big. Yeah, let's do that. Our next province will be entirely factories, and that'll be our industrial district. Factories are too important to sleep on, though, so we'll build a mixture for now and utilize the swap settlement feature when it's distributed. Oh, you could swap them! That's the super cool. Okay, for labor so they've confirmed you could swap mines example, into factories and vice versa. Our by throwing laborers at it, instantly building a money pit to get those coffers flowing. Whoa! What? So okay, so you can you can instantly complete buildings by paying example, labor kickstart our economy by throwing laborers at it instantly building a yo that's sick over in the wow area, okay so you have a lot of different ways you can utilize different things an upgraded i really like the unit art it looks good fields, where we can churn out more it looks like the great taurus amongst other handy benefits. the great taurus bull centaur renders to the Lanisu, oh there's the bale taurus at the top yeah bale taurus nice before we move on, it's a good idea to get some technology brewing. For Chaos Dwarfs, the technology tree is split into three branches. Holy sorcery, shit! No points for guessing which one does what, although our sorcery tree is also... Wow, well those are actually pretty sizable. No wrong answers here. We can cater our society to fit very specific molds. Military wow, powerhouse that's really cool! Marble. Okay, so you use raw ours. materials and, and armaments in the tech tree. A nice mix. Jesus! Spread. Okay. Merchants guild Whoa, from my God! This is a envoys of the conclave in the sorcery tree, which will get us. And you need conclave. 
It'll be a while until we need to worry about. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. There is a lot to look at. Out of our heads for now. And whilst we're pushing that out of our heads, let's push some new skills into Astragos. Root Marcher, that's a given. And we'll drop points into Aspiring Presence now and Feverant Fodder later. Oh! we playing quite Cannon Fodder. Look at that, it shows the units. It's nice if your meat shields don't run away. At level 12, Astrogoth can unlock this lovely little joy. Oh, oh, that's sick. Look at that. He's like the... In his mind, he speaks for all the, all the Chaos stores, or he's Zardanagran's legitimate ruler. Plus 15 diplomacy with all Chaos factions, all Chaos dwarfs, and all Ogre kingdoms. Master That's really cool. Being so he's so like a diplomacy-heavy Chaos faction. The Chaos dwarfs get a fairly bad rap abroad. <laughs> Anything we can do to soften that image will be handy in the long run. Nice gun. With our dashing bull centaur hero, we'll prioritize oh, training. Oh, the weapons, bull centaur looks so good. Just make him a right good stab. Oh, does he get guardian? Guns, I reckon. What a beautiful bull man. What's his name? Zorak. I think not. Welcome to the party, Natalie. I'm so sorry. Whew, almost That's done with turn one. Terrible. Oh, my word. We'll just recruit some sneaky gobos. And oh, look at dwarf warriors. Oh, that. Uh, okay, that's really. I, I'm guessing the blunderbuss art isn't in yet, because <laughs> it just looks like a regular unit, like t posing. But uh, they did say this is early footage. But uh, so the chaos dwarf units are capped. So that's such a that's such a good way to handle that. I was really really curious how they were gonna make it where the chaos dwarfs feel like a very limited resource because. The only like notable weakness of the Chaos Dwarfs is that they are grossly outnumbered by um, everybody else. Like the thing that makes the Chaos Dwarfs not uh, as powerful, or they what would make them struggle to go up against the the regular Dwarfs of the Katarzyn Corps, is that their population is so small, um, and it it's very difficult to get large amounts of chaos swords on the battlefield so the fact that that's represented here so you have infinite numbers of hobgoblins and laborers but you do not have infinite chaos dwarf units that's a very cool way to handle that then it's all about the chaos dwarf express to murderville choo choo <sighs> that was a green skins transition on some prime real estate We'll spread our attackers as is only correct and proper i would like to see some combat animations I know you won't oh, let me no. down. Full frontal charges with cavalry are frowned upon, but I can take them. Especially with a little help from the laws of a shut and fire. That's really cool. Hey, the bull centaurs look great, dude. Oh, Ooh, that that look at that stomp. To see it. As predicted, Astrogoth, Natalie, and their centaur children made light work of their orcish opponents. I miss Elswell, settlement battles. making slow but steady progress into the din, and I can only imagine the furious... That, that is such a slick spell. Movie. I love that it causes a vortex. Man, that's a lot of shots. I really like Zatan's color scheme with for his armies. Breach, like that kind of black and gold. With our cavalry. We got a Night Goblin War Boss. Oh, man. Zatan can hustle. Or not Zatan. Uh, Astrogoth can hustle, man. Oh, look at that jump. Slam. Dude, he's like Waluigi. Like between the shoes and the way he runs. Oh. Zorna's cool is once again united. And Astrogoth's quest to reestablish Zorn his dominance within cool. the Tower of can begin Astrogoth in earnest. Zorn. We'll set the billowing smokestacks command. Billowing smokestacks. Okay. I like I like that billowing smokestacks reduces Remember, plague. We'll be looking for a nice uh, uh, nearby uh, province to build our. That's factions. not how that works. The path to the east is tempting and opens us up to the mountains of Morn. Though the ogres are not a force to be taken lightly, either way, the saber skins are less than friendly. War will sing in the mountains eventually. Tantalizingly close, the high pass is our most obvious choice, and though these crumbling ruins may appear abandoned, they hum with the scratching machinations of Skaven. I, not I will say, threat, I really like what I'm seeing so far. No love for us, and would stand um, fast the Chaos Dwarves, like, 
the fact that their their resources have so many different utilizations they have use of the tech tree they have use of construction they have use in uh resources we would be like wise to that looks strong it's very nice oh in look at the pits they are our truest hope for an ally i really like the way the dark lands is looking stomp on some rats Oh, look at the buildings. They really like showing off this spell. They're like, look at this cool new tech we figured out. <laughs> so yeah, so it has a sizable impact when it hits and then cons continues to do damage. Oh, look at the siege tower. Oh, that's so good. It's got like the, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a giant furnace. I, I do like what I'm seeing. Oh, oh, what? Did he just punt that rat and then <laughs> he just slams him into the ground? Convert to outpost. Okay, so it takes a turn. Oh, underway stance. Nice. Underway stance. That's very nice. That's very nice. Wasn't sure they were going to give it to him because uh, Chaos Orders aren't traditionally associated. Uh, classic ogres. Couldn't wait their turn. No matter what direction we started in, we we're always going to end up in a situation like this. At least our tower will act as a barrier between the ogres and the rest of our settlements. It's got a strong garrison, so we should be all right for now. If That's a strong garrison. Can recruit an emergency lord and CA. the best. CA, listen, we need to we need to have a discussion about your garrisons. <laughs> your definition of a strong garrison, I don't think is anybody else's definition of a strong garrison. I'm impulsive. That's what I like. My oh, nice. Okay, so we have we have all four lords uh, confirmed on the sorcerer prophets. Oh, overseer. So we do have a melee lord. Yes, good, very good, very good leaders to be anyway we've only gone and collected a fair few very very points. good let's say we crack open the tower of czar and see what's inside whoa oh, i see how it is two seats already taken okay so that's, that's what i get for savoring my rat stomping zatan and anyway, legion of asgor yep. technology pillars the tower of czar is split into industry military and sorcery there are four tiers three districts and a whole lot of boons to gobble jesus down. christ the prize being the confederation oh there's the a confederation Spirit. mechanic Yo! Yes! Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Thanks to my like-minded kin, we're well on our way to achieving those ends. Not gonna lie, unlock. I did want the Machinator seat for the bonus to roll. Okay, so you unlock the seats going up a tower by completing the seats on a lower tower. Um, and, and they have a built-in confederation mechanic. So, wow, it costs 600 influence, but you can confederate the servants of the Conclave, which is Tsar Nagrand. Okay, so there are four Chaos War factions, um, which makes sense. Like, Chaos Wars, they're not a very populous race. They're not someone you're going to see globally. Um, so it looks like it's only the three playable factions and then the Tsar Nagrand faction right now. Obviously, we might see more Legendary Lords uh, through, like, Free LC or DLC in the future. Um, but for right now, you've got the four, and they're all just in the tech tree. Or uh, in the tower tree, which is good. I I love this. I love that there is a unique way to confederate the other chaos dwarfs that doesn't require just beating them into submission. To unlock the that's next that's tier, fantastic. Two must be completed in the previous tier. Thanks to my like-minded kin. Complete well, two districts in tier one. Okay. Not gonna lie, so I did want the machinator seat. So you have to work with the AI or other players to complete two towers or two tier or two sets in order to go up to the next tier but you also may want specific seats which means you're probably going to have to steal them away so do you save your influence to steal seats that give you particularly awesome buffs or do you just focus on getting as many seats filled as possible so that you can worry about unlocking the next tier also i really like that the symbols for the faction show up in the relevant seat on the left that's cool looking to raw materials that's a really nice buff. And we have the influence to do so, but we're still trying to play nice at the moment, so probably not the best of ideas. 
Oh, there are army abilities. Oh, but we'll park our bum on the blacksmith seat for now. Extra ornaments is nothing to sniff at. And by any I means, love this. We'll have another shot eventually. I love or this. We'll build an economy so vast every seat is dwarfed beneath our all-encompassing buttocks. Uh, dwarfed? Hmm. Whoa! They got the Cathay mechanic. Economy to easily swallow the. They got the Cathay mechanic. Just yet, not whilst we're waging two wars, anyway. You know oh no! Show it. Back to squashing rats. Oh, you cowards! Bom 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 bom. Are they speaking a different language? Dude, Astragoth looks amazing. Uh, dude, I was gonna do Drazwath on my first campaign, but now I'm wavering. My my leadership is wavering. Oh, hidden stash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me let me read that. Through our see it, slay it, sorted internal security campaign. <laughs> what? <laughs> see it, slay it, sorted. Uh, that's hilarious. Just. Like Chaos Dwarf bureaucracy still involves murder. It has become apparent that the radical malcontent within the ranks of the Infernal Guard has been squirreling away weapons for some nefarious purpose. Perhaps he seeks in vain, of course, to challenge the natural order. As you might expect, a fitting, agonizing, and public example has been made of the would-be traitor, but this has showed slowed down our recruitment plan somewhat. Though a true servant of Hashit would have nothing to fear. So you can torture him and seize the stash for bonus armaments, or look the other way for some kind of other bonus. That's cool. Okay, so we got events. Oh, I enjoyed that. There's something cathartic about watching Skaven run for their lives. Right then. The Bro, you got a Cathay caravan right district. there. We're not accepting labor here. Instead, funneling it all into our mind. Which now converted into entirely outposts. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so you can you can move your laborers between provinces. Very cool. Oh wow! Look at that. So every province has its. Look at. Okay, so you can. Wow, that's a really nice. So you can see the efficiency it's running at, how many laborers it requires, and how much raw materials it's producing. So this one, because they only have 733 laborers, and they need 1,200 laborers, they're only at 62% efficiency, which is also causing control problems. I've opted not to build a tower in Karag Flag. Interesting. I'll use the more on my frontiers to hold our borders. Oh, okay, so major which settlements like can be made be into... Ogres, which is good, because they're not... Okay, so major settlements do not have to be towers. You can still make them into factories or outposts. But if you do that, they count as minor settlements. So you could choose for a major settlement to not be a major Friend. settlement. Thanks to the tower Very cool. and our master of the conclave talent, we're making diplomatic headway with our fellow Chaos Dwarfs. And we may need to call in some military favors soon if the Saberskins don't calm down. Anyway, right now we've got greener fish to fry. The World's Edge Mountains is home to the greener fish to More fry. Greenskins. Mm. And they're none too thrilled that we kick their vampire friends out of the Silver Pinnacle. They're gonna be less than thrilled when we make them homeless. Positively upset when we put them to the mines. Whilst Astrogoth sikes himself. They won't be homeless, the they'll mines, be in the mines. We'll have our second army begin the Oh, great Taurus! Great Tauruses. Taurusai? I think it'd be Tauri. Alright, let's do this. Actually, no, the Here lore the specifies that it's Tauri. Bring it on, orcs. Man, I love that giant. Look how, look at how high he can jump. Dude, Astrogoth was not fucking around when he made that thing. Okay. He's got ups. There we go then. Twenty odd turns. He made it for basketball. It just happens to be somewhat steady. <laughs> it just happens to be good at fighting. The ogres are still causing us a little grief, so we'll likely put them down next. But by adding the World's Edge Mountains to our growing territories, we've opened ourselves up to attacks from Kislevites and our inferior mountain-dwelling cousins. Indeed. The journey ahead is perilous, and Astrogoth's gonna need a leg up if he- Oh! I just mean you could use a hand- ah. I'm sorry. Look, what I'm trying to say is we've got a new epic quest with some stellar rewards- He's an angry grabs. boy. The influence alone will set us forward- Oh, the, the Black Hammer of Hatchet! Would be master. Uh, plus one control to all provinces, 15% base weapon strength, and the Black Hammer of Hatchet. Plus 50% to all damage types for 32 seconds, and give the flammable the condition. Woo! Ooh, that's nice. Ah, thank you, Burundin, for keeping our flying cows warm. We'll put them to good use, worry not. Oh, they're going to show the quest battle? Okay, here's the deal. 
We've got a derail train and a very important payload to deliver. Train oh, derailment? Oh, oh man. That's too topical for us. Unscathed. Grand Wait, Goblin this is an escort mission? Use this narrow valley to their advantage, meaning we must be vigilant. Oh, this That's is right, such a cool thing! Quest. God, I love quest battles. Like, I know they're not for everyone, but like, that is sick. The fact that it's an actual escort mission to guide a We've Iron a Demon. Train up and running that's and so cool. We'll that's really different. I love that. Bridges, or both. I wish these weren't confined to just being quest battles. Of heading one and Natalie the other. Oh, that's so Ooh, cool. Man, that are. train is chugging. We'll our great Taurus on their arches and take the rest head on. Oh, that's a big old cow. This looks great, man. It's looking really good so far. Nice. As first waves go, it's immensely survivable. Bit of flanking, bit of magic, bit of vigorous stabbing, and they're running for the hills. <laughs> I love that As he's just constantly vibrating because of his little engine. On the engine. other side of the valley, Nathan has got a big old spider to squash. I'd rather them than me. Got an erector on. Man, look at all the shots coming out of the blunderbuss unit. That's very good. It's a tougher crowd than Team A face, but nothing. Man, wouldn't it be happen. nice if this Meanwhile, music actually played in battles instead of like the actual battle music isn't bad. It's just not this exciting. Um, because this is this is more like the trailer music, which is awesome. I love it. I wish it played more in actual battles. You got a great shaman. Dude, that render, the Bull Centaur render looks great. I love his armor. Dead spider. Good job, Natalie. We'll take Team B to the next ramp whilst Team A mops up the stragglers. Natalie, they're, they're, CA is always trying to recapture that Daniel magic, but I, I don't know if they'll ever oh, be I able to recapture Taurus that. Might be my new favorite unit. Look at it. Oh, Guys, that's, so, oh, so that's a great animation where it starts like going crazy. That looks good. Fat nose scurry is the oh, right. goblin Not boss. Not too far from our destination now, and the payload's yet to be scratched. Whatever comes next weekend. Oh, the bars are coming in. I should shut up. Enjoy the film. I love the. I love the the train guiding. <laughs> Man, look at the horns on that thing. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> this is so stupid. Whoa! <laughs> Rip the goblin. God, Astrogoth looks fantastic. Wow, that new fire effect looks amazing. Oh. They brought an idol. What are you going to do, Astrogoth? Man, look at the teeth on that Chaos Dwarf. Uh, time to go. Is that the end? Oh, no, we're still going. <laughs> They're like, oh, shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> treacherous little goblin. Man, look, the blunderbuss shots look fantastic. Oh, here he comes. Oh, is he going to anime run? He's going to anime run. Whoa! Oh! What? What is this? Is that a charge animation? <laughs> Dude, that's like a... He was like doing the Naruto running. Uh, that looks great. That looks great. <laughs> he keeps just hammering on his legs. Uh, it looks great. It looks great. Um, it looks good. It looks very good. Uh, I don't think I really have much more to add. Um, looks absolutely fantastic. I am super pleased so far. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I really, really like the economy system. I really like the new... Um, I love all the units we've seen so far. The animations look amazing. Um, Astrogoth in particular seems like a big standout. Um, I'm really glad that... 
when I first saw his mech, I wasn't really sure if he was going to have like anything super crazy powerful looking about the mech. Uh, the mech looks fucking insane as far as the abilities it seems to give him where he's like throwing fire at people leaping like 20 feet into the air and just going all sync. Like he's going full, he's going full anime, but uh looks great. I'm really excited to see more. Uh, let me know what y'all think down below. And uh, yeah, we'll keep following Chaos Wharf info as it comes out. Thanks for watching.